Hello, my name is Samoya Kirby. I'm Head of Communications at the Ministry of Tourism, Civil Aviation, Transportation and Investment. Oh wow, so my journey in hospitality began in 2004 when I was transferred from the Ministry of Information to the Ministry of Tourism. And it began there and it ends now because I'm still there like 18 or 19 years after. So for public and internal pur information purposes, you would have to cover um, stories, events relating to the different facets of tourism so you're talking about product development sustainable tourism sports tourism agrotourism it was just all encompassing and there was a lot in terms of not just standard communications um, you definitely had to delve into marketing the destination a lot because at that time when I began in 2004 the Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Authority did not exist as the marketing arm of um, Ministry of Tourism so we actually did a lot of the marketing regionally and internationally at the Ministry of Tourism and I was a part of the team the marketing road shows regionally. Um, we did Barbados. Rediscover Antigua Barbuda was the tagline for that particular marketing campaign. And it was a regional campaign. So we went to Barbados. We went to Trinidad where we exhibited weddings and honeymoons in Antigua and Barbuda. And it was well received. We did the Barbados trade show. We did Guadeloupe. Um, I think we even played mass in Trinidad at one point in time. I literally had to put on a costume and masquerade in the streets, but it was all in the name of marketing, Antigua and Barbuda. In that same marketing realm, on a more international um, scene, we did the Atlanta Mayor's Ball, and this was, I cannot remember if it was 2011 or somewhere thereabouts, but I would tell you this much. When you're so into your work and you love what you do, it's amazing some of the things that will pass you by. So I knew that I was working on the Atlanta Mayor's Ball. It was sponsored, Antigua and Barbuda Ministry of Tourism was a title sponsor for that event then. And we did the whole shindig. The prime minister was there at the time. We were guarded by the secret service. We did a lot of tours. I think the aquarium was open that same time. So we did a major tour at the aquarium. But what was amazing was that we donned our gowns and we did what we had to do as tourism representatives of Antigua and Barbuda. And I was literally at the table with Tyler Perry and I did not know who Tyler Perry was. And it was amazing because I think his first major movie, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, it released shortly after and I was like, no, I did not just miss the time of my life sitting with Tyler Perry, but it was definitely a rewarding experience. As you can imagine, there were lots of stars there apart from Tyler Perry that, you know, it was great knowing that as, as a part of your job, the opportunities arise for you to rub shoulders per se with different types of people from different realms of the world. I do find that the hospitality industry is quite multifaceted and that is where my rewards lie. Um, I would tell you this much, as a communications officer or somebody who tries to master the art of communication because it's an ongoing learning process, I would say that I've learned tremendously about the different areas of tourism. So I've learned about the airline industry. I've learned about the cruise industry, accommodations. I've also learned about um, agro-tourism, sustainable tourism. Just the fact that you have to cover and you have to work along with the different officers within the Ministry of Tourism, as well as the Minister of Tourism. I work pretty closely with the Minister of Tourism. It simply means that for every visit, for every activity, I have to learn in-depthly background information on what we're just we're about to, to deal with. So the multifaceted nature of the industry makes it most rewarding for me because of the knowledge I've gained over the past few years. During my career, I think the hospitality industry has definitely evolved. Um, there are different niche markets that are just coming to the fore. 
usually it's all about just sun sea and sand people are not just traveling for sun sea and sand anymore so you'll find that um, people are traveling for festivals they're traveling for weddings and honeymoons they're traveling just to experience different cultures and the more the unique the experience then you could definitely count on people coming to experience your offering so in the next few years let's say in the next decade I would love to see Antigua and Barbuda bringing out innovative product. Um, when I say innovative product, let's not just offer more of the same. Um, we need to branch out and we need to be creative with it. A cultural park, a festival's village, um, uh, Antiguan themed water park, Lots of conch shells, lots of slides with, with different aspects of Antiguan culture. Um, we just need to be innovative, creative. We need to go with the flow in terms of technology and the times. Um, but we also need to do it with an Antiguan twist. And if we can accomplish that over the next few years, we'll definitely be a force to be reckoned with. And we do not need to get over technological, but we do need to go with the flow, but Antiguan centered, <laughs> per se.